Hi everybody, it's Kelly. And this is some of my favorite things that are not really beauty related. And I just love these things. And so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna show them with you. This wasn't the video that I was expecting to put up. I was expecting to do a changing room video. However, as I was putting things together, it's so humid here again. I just started to sweat and I'm like, I don't wanna do that. Plus I have to go to work and I'm gonna show you my outfit that I'm wearing wear to work. It's probably a little young for me, but I don't care. Um, and so I'm like, I don't wanna get all sweating and have to redo my makeup before I go to work. So I thought, hmm, what can I do? So this is what I'm going to show you. These are some things that I truly, truly just love, all right? Let's start, a lot of them are kitchen ideas, of course, but let's start here. What is this, you ask? Kelly, what is this stuff? Well, this is baking soda. I use this a lot, especially if you have a stainless steel sink. Wet your sink, sprinkle some in there, and then you're gonna take this sponge. Sponge, you can tell that I've used it. Take a sponge and really start working in those stains that sometimes happen or, you know, your stainless steel sink dulls or something like that. Let it sit and then take hot water and then rinse it all out. You might have to go back and do it again to make sure everything is out. Wipe it down with this side. And then another thing that I love, microfiber cloths. Take a microfiber cloth wipe out and dry your sink and it will have the best shine ever. Another way to use this is in the bathroom. Mix it with a little bit of water or add it a little bit to your favorite cleanser and it acts as a mild exfoliant. I'm sure there's other things to use but that's how I use it. So two of my favorite things are a microfiber cloth and this. Glass cleaner, glass cleaner for windows and your glasses. I mix half uh, rubbing alcohol, oh, I gotta put that on my list, and water, and then a splash of vinegar. And I use my microfiber cloth, I'll spray it on this and wipe it, and then go to a clean section and dry it. Comes out crystal clear. This is all I don't have anything else that I clean, I don't have Windex or anything else that I clean my windows with. This is what I use. This also is used to sanitize stuff too. So if I've been, let's say, cutting chicken or something on my counter, before I'll, I'll wipe it all up, but then I'll spray it with this and wipe again. That kills a lot of uh, germs. So, some cleaning stuff that I love, okay? Let's go to vitamins, or supplements, I should say. I have been using, I haven't really changed, I've been working out, you guys, most of you know this, and I'm pretty proud of myself because I've kept up with it. I mean, I started before the holiday season and I literally have kept up with it. I eat decent. Do I eat fantastic? No, you know, but I'm not a sweet eater anyway. So I'm not into the, the sweets and sugars. My sweet and sugar comes from a certain form of beverages. I just have to tell you. But it's just been really hard to kind of get rid of the stomach bloat and different things like that. So I was reading about three different supplements. And I've incorporated these for the past I'd say three to four weeks. Now, sometimes it says to take two a day, sometimes I don't. Usually, if I do get two a day in, I get one in the morning and then one later on in the afternoon. I never take two at a time, just because a lot of times being short it tends sometimes to mess with me. I have all three of these products on subscribe and save through Amazon, so they're gonna get shipped to me regularly. I won't be without these anymore because I can truly tell a difference. One of them is beetroot. All of these are for your internal, your blood pressure, your cholesterol, digestion, healthy flora. I mean everything within your body and the inner workings, it helps. Just go, I mean I'm gonna put beetroot in the down bar you do your own research. I know when somebody says stuff to me and writes it down, I still have to do my own research. So I take this. Now, could I do a regular beet? Sure, I could. And I do have a can of beets, and I probably, I add once in a while, I add like a beet to a, a smoothie or something like that, but this is just easier for me. 
Another thing that is really good for inside and outside. This also helps digestion, but this also kind of comes out through skin. And oh, my skin's doing all right. And this is resveratrol. I want to say this is $19, okay? Try it. You don't know if you don't try it, if you see a difference. I honestly feel that I'm seeing a difference. I'm not, uh, I'm not doing this anymore. I still have muffin, depending on what I wear. And I still have a belly, but I'm getting a little bit of a curve instead of a straight shot down. And that's what I'm really wanting. So resveratrol not only helps inside, but also helps your skin, youthfulness of your skin too. And this is actually in a lot of beauty products, okay? So, and then the other thing, I read totally great things about this, um, and it's turmeric. You can take it in pill form, it, it's a spice. It comes on a lot of Indian food. Um, I did look for it in the grocery stores too, but I'm like, eh, I'll just do this. So again, all three of these has made, in my mind, a difference in just getting a little bit of a curve back, you know, how Stella got a groove back, Kelly's getting a curve of her waist back. That's my goal, all right? So these three things are a few of my favorite. Something else that I, I really, I can tell a difference, it's my home egg magnesium. Uh, when I feel extra kind of bloated, I'll spray some on my stomach, not too much, because it does kind of burn a little bit if you do too much. Or I, if I know I'm going to have a hard time sleeping or have stuff on my mind, I will spray this on the bottom of my feet about 30 minutes or so before I go to bed. And for some reason, it helps me sleep through the night a lot better. It's my magnesium spray. All right, so those are some more of my favorite things. Uh, one more thing that I just am loving. When I go on vacation, or actually before I redid my little vanity area, I would sit in a sink. Okay. Some of you that have watched my old channel, when Mary Mary and I went and met up in Bloomington, uh, she <laughs> taped me sitting in the sink. I always, when I go someplace to put my makeup on a hotel, if I can't, I sit in the sink. I literally put my feet in the sink and my butt on the little part behind the sink. That way I can get close enough to put my makeup on and I just, I've always sat, even as a young kid, I've sat on the ground and put my makeup mirror on a windowsill or something like that. I just have to sit. I don't like standing up. It's not as relaxing. So, when since I've been getting older, when I when go, and I always put my contacts in before I put my makeup on, well, you can't see, you know, you get too close and it's all blurry and stuff like that. So this is what I got from HRQVC. It is a five light, five times lighted mirror. It lights up and it stands like this. So I can, and it works perfect for me. Five times is perfect. And it closes up, comes with batteries. I think it was $25. Slip it in between some of your clothes. Perfect. Love, love, love this. Now when I go out, my, my eyes don't look wonky. All right, now let's talk of something of my favorite. Oops, this is right. Let's talk kitchen. These are a few of my favorite things. First, chia seeds. I love chia seeds. I eat some every day. I put some on my salads. Uh, I put some in my smoothies. I, I sprinkle some on anything I can sprinkle um, that I can eat every day. These are supposed to be a superfood. It just helps fill you up. Um, there's just a lot of other goodness about them. Again, you can do your own research, but I ordered this huge bag from Amazon. So there you go. Let's talk tacos. I love tacos. I love burritos, just kind of foods that are open like that. I found these at Aldi for $2.99. Taco trays. Yes, I said taco trays. Look, you put your tacos in here, rice, beans, or whatever else you want. And you got yourself a snack, a wrap, um, anything you want to, you know, have open and sit up in there. How cool is that for $2.99? Three colors, perfect. Yeah, four colors, four of them. Yeah, hello. Yeah, taco plates, taco plates. Aldi, Aldi. Okay. The next thing is a chopper. I like to cook. You guys know it. And if I know I'm going to chop a lot uh, and, I, and I want it really small, I'll get out my little ninja. 
But if I don't need it really, really small, and I don't need to do, I'm watching something on TV, and I don't, know it's not chopping. It's the chew. And it is called the pull and chop, okay? Comes like this. This comes out for easy cleaning. The lid goes on. You put your vegetables, whatever you want in there, okay? And then what you'll do, you'll put this down, put your hand here, and it's gonna be awkward because I'm holding it. You pull. And it chops. And it comes apart and you rinse it. Doesn't even have, you can put it in the dishwasher, we really don't have to. Really cool, I use this I know every week, a couple times a week, and chop. Love it, love it, love it. Amazon. All right, something else that I've loved is these. <laughs> in fact, I almost ordered some more. All right, you tell me, you go cereal, and you get a little bit left in the cereal, enough for maybe one or something like that, but there's that huge box in there. Or this is what happened to me, and this is probably one of the reasons why I first bought this product. A lot of times you have frozen fruit, frozen vegetables, different things in your uh, in your freezer. I hate my freezer, it's a side-by-side, -side. I will never order a side-by-side -side again. And you pull it out, you open to get something, and your whole bag of peas go all over the floor. Does that happen to you? Happens to me, a lot. So I ordered these from QVC. Like, Kelly, what are these? Nose picker? No, it's a bag shutter. Look. Show you how it works. It's so easy. You take it, fold it, you take the little picker thing, I'm gonna have to put it down. Okay, get it right in there. It slides right on. You do it sitting down the first time. Look. It's not coming out. I've got these in my freezer and I have these in my chips. Those big chip clips, this is so much more, to me, convenient. And they come in three different sizes. Highly recommend. In fact, they were just on and I ordered some more. So good. Keeping things fresh. So one of my favorite things. All right. This is my Mac Daddy. In fact, I have two now. Yes, I have two. And you're going, Kelly, why two? Because... Let's say it is hot outside and I don't want to go out and barbecue. I can make ribs, I can make uh, lasagna, I can make pork steaks in this pressure cooker. Yes, pressure cooker. There you go. Okay, in fact, I just made really tough sirloin steak uh, and you know it's kind of a tough and I made it okay. fall apart. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. The thing about this is you can cook from frozen. Let's say you forget something at home and you didn't put anything in. You can come and this browns all of a sudden. It totally browns. And it steams the best corn on the cob. The best. I put some water in there. It, it cans too, which I'm going to try this year. And I put some garlic, butter, herbs, and it steams all that into the corn. It is the perfect corn and if I cook in that and I cook my corn or if I cook that at mac and cheese I don't have to turn on my oven or anything else and it browns so so good makes lasagna with dry noodles phenomenal the best and this is the lid goes on there and it doesn't spatter it doesn't spurt uh, it's it's an awesome 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 thing so I think that's it um, yeah, those are just a few of my favorite non-beauty things. I will list everything in the description bar. Um, let me know if you have any questions on any of the products that I shoot, 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 okay? And, uh, yeah, I'm, I just have to okay. And make me some money. All right. You guys have a great day. Please subscribe, please comment. I totally love it. I hope to, when the weather cools off, get a changing room video. Like I said, I've got all windows and where I change, it's got windows and it's just hot right now. So, and I really don't feel like sweating off my entire face. So have a great day. Talk to you later.